In this video, we will change name surveys of a domain name in Google Domains. This is the domain name for which we need to change the name surveys. Search for the domain name. Click on the domain name. Click on the DNS from the left menu. Here you can see Google Domains is active. That is, we will be using Google's own name surveys. This is managed DNS. You can put the record and code C name, etc. here. In this case, we need to use custom name surveys. We will be using these two name surveys. For that, click on custom. Then click on manage name surveys. You have the option to enter the name server here. Copy and paste these name surveys we have already here. So click on save. If you have more name surveys, you can add more name surveys by clicking on add another name server. You can enter the third name server here. But in this case, we only have two name surveys. So remove this entry, click on save. Next, we need to click on this switch to these settings. That will change the name service from the Google domains settings to the custom name server we have set up now. Click on switch to these settings. Now it says these DNS settings are active. Changes are published immediately, but it may take time to propagate. So let us check the who is of this domain. Who is, then enter the domain name, press enter. Now the name surveys for the domain is changed to the custom name surveys. Let us see if the domain is resolving. For that we can use NSLOOKUP domain name. Then we can ask this name server. That is the authoritative name server. Currently the name server is not responding for this domain name. That is because the DNS server is not configured. The website is not added to the DNS server. For that we go to the WHM create a new account, enter the domain name and we need to select a password, a random password and click on create. It says this username is already in use so we need to use a different username. We will use coll.com as the username. So let us try creating an account again. Create new account, enter the domain name, As for the username, enter a different username, select a random password and click on create. Okay, we have the cPanel account created. Let us see if the domain is resolving now. Now the domain is resolving to IP address ending with 58. Let's see if the site is working. Copy the domain name in the browser, paste and go. So we have pointed the domain name into a cPanel server using custom name service and the website is working properly now. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.